All right, with your head coach, Joe Golding, coming off a win over Corpus. Um, just a great all-around win again. Another game where you guys came out and just really stepped on the gas early. Um, and you're through a really tough stretch of games, you know? How does it feel to get this win, but also to kind of get ready for a week off, too? Yeah, first of all, we have a ton of respect for Corpus and, and their staff um, and how they do things. Uh, you know, when we first got in this league, they were, um, you know, playing for championships as a league. And they've been very consistent in our league year in and year out um, of, of uh, one of the better teams in our league. So, uh, you know, I, I just got so much respect for Coach Wilson uh, and their program there. I thought our guys were ready to play, but I think our guys have been ready all week. This was a challenge all week. You know, our, our motto is trust the process. We, we try to get better each day. Uh, so we don't look ahead, but when, when you did look at it, man, it was four games in what, eight days, I think. So it was a tough stretch with two, the first two being on the road, a uh, quick turnaround the Monday, Wednesday game, and then obviously Wednesday to, the, uh, to tonight's game. So it was just extremely proud for our guys. What they did is not easy. It's very difficult to do. People don't understand the travel uh, and, and getting prepared for opponents. There's so many good coaches and teams and players in this league. Um, and just really proud. You could tell this week, Cassie, for the first time, that there was just a sense of urgency with our team. And I think they understand it's mid-February. Um, I think they understand what's in front of them. Um, and uh, we have an older team, and you could tell that it's, got, it's gotten elevated. It got elevated in practice, and it's been elevated on the floor. Um, so I like where we're headed. I like where we're going. Uh, we've got some tough games uh, here down the stretch, um, starting Saturday at Southeastern. And uh, we have all week to prepare and get ready. And uh, you know, I know our guys will, will be up for the challenge, but extremely uh, proud of our, our guys. Uh, Clay got out to a good start early, scores 21 points. But um, it seemed like whenever you guys needed something, there, a play was made. So kind of what, what stood out to you in that aspect? Yeah, I think, I think you know, there's a couple things. Number one, Clay's playing at a high level right now. He's playing really, really well. Um, I'm proud of him and how he's playing. He's uh, making the right basketball decisions. Uh, he's not just being a shooter out there. Uh, he's he's very difficult to guard right now on the floor. And he's creating a lot of opportunities for his teammates as well as scoring the basketball. And then defensively, he's playing with a high motor. So, uh, but all of our bigs are. Our bigs have done a tremendous job all year. And I think to your point, Cass, it's just different guys on different nights, you know. Um, and we've a, we've been able to play a bunch of guys uh, here over the uh, these four games. We've been able to wrestle. I think Colton plays 15 or 16 minutes tonight. And those are good um, we're able to rest some guys and, and stay fresh down the uh, stretch here um, with uh, with you know everybody gets tired legs in February and so uh, but that's just uh, again to your point I think this is who this team's been you know I mean we we just have different guys that can score the basketball um, it all starts on the defensive end I thought this week we've gotten back to us defensively uh, just the way we're flying around um, and uh, we've, we've definitely uh, continued to elevate on that side of the floor and force turnovers and get easy baskets and then our offense is getting better so um, just, just proud of the guys, proud of the effort, and uh, you know they're buying into each other. They got an incredible relationship, and uh, they're a darn good basketball team. You know, I, I don't brag on them probably enough. Uh, it, it's been a tough year. It's COVID. There, there's, there's some, a lot of things going on right now. But this basketball team is one of the best uh, basketball programs in the country right now. Uh, they've played like that. They've been consistent with like uh, throughout the year with that. And uh, hopefully, right now we can continue to work and, and get better uh, because this team I still think can get better uh, down the stretch right here. And I know our guys understand that and think that too. Um, obviously, you have another tough test, another tough road trip coming up next week, going to Southeastern. Uh, what do you guys need to do to just prepare? For yeah, that? it's been a while since we've played them. Um, and so, uh, you know, we'll have to go back and watch tape and you got to get your team in the mindset again of what it was like to play them here. Uh, we obviously got off to a fast start against them here at our place. And, uh, you know, they're going to be ready for us. You know, on these, on these turnaround games, uh, you got to flush the first game, uh, you know, mentally. Um, you got to watch tape. You got to learn what worked, what didn't work. They'll make adjustments. We'll make adjustments. And it's a tough place to play. Dave has done a tremendous job. They've, they've played good basketball um, all year in our league. I think they're sitting right there at fourth, fifth, sixth, somewhere right in there. Uh, they're in the mix. They're playing at a high level. Uh, they're winning games at home and on the road. Um, that's a sign of a good team. They got really good guards. Uh, their bigs play extremely hard. Uh, I think they have an identity to who they are. And, uh, you know, I think Dave has done a great job um, in building that program in year two. So, uh, you know, it's, a, it's, again, tough place to play, tough travel. Um, we, we got all week right here to, to get better. Obviously, early in the week, we'll worry about us and get better on some things. And then as the week progresses, we'll obviously spend a lot of time on Southeastern. So uh, they've got our full attention and respect. And uh, our guys understand uh, they've been in that locker room. Uh, what, it's a tough place to play. And uh, so we're, we, we'll, uh, we'll work hard and, and have them prepared. And, and hopefully when the ball gets tipped, uh, our guys are ready to play. All right. Thank you so much. Congrats on the win. Thanks. Appreciate it.